Okay, so this week we're diving deep into the central nervous system and taking an extensive look at the brain. Uh, we're going to look at the spinal cord and the spinal nerves and cranial nerves next week. So this week we're going to do unit 15. So this is lab 11, unit 15, the brain. Um, it'll be pages 313 through 330 in your book and pages 333 through 342. This will be activities 1, 2, and 3 and activity 5. We do activity four will be next week. Uh, that's the spinal cord. So we're gonna look at spinal cord, which is unit 15, activity four next week, along with the spinal nerves and cranial nerves, which are unit 16 um, next week. The schedule seems to say that we're doing the brain and spinal cord this week, but I just really can't see how to fit the brain and spinal cord into one class and not have your heads just explode. So um, I'm changing the schedule a little bit, uh, putting the spinal cord next week. Um, I've got two hours and 45 minutes of lecture on the brain. I divided it into four parts. So yes, I did the brain in less than three hours. All right. Uh, in the uh, lecture, we're going to do an overview of the brain, um, describe a mid-sagittal section of the brain, so right down the middle. So we're going to look at the medial side of the brain. And we're going to look at the brain stem, um, midbrain, pons, medulla oblongata. Talk about the, about the various structures. And then we'll talk about the cerebellum, the diencephalon, and the cerebral cortex, which is the gray matter, the white matter, which is the axons that have been myelinated that exit the brain. And we're gonna talk about basal nuclei a little bit as well. Uh, then we'll talk uh, in depth about the lobes of the brain, external features of, of the cerebrum. So, um, and then we'll get into the fun part, which is the functional areas. So we're gonna map the structure of the brain to functions um, of, of the brain. And then we're going to talk about an electroencephalogram, an EEG, talk about what that is, talk about the meninges, which are the coverings over the brain, and cerebral spinal fluid, because that's all important in case you have, uh, say, a head injury and you get cerebral spinal fluid build up on one side of the brain. You can, uh, you have, uh, you can have strokes, uh, pressure on the brain, all those kind of things. I'm going to finish up with a brief overview of the brain during development, and then we'll end up with uh, what's, uh, the curious case of Phineas Gage. And you don't want to miss that because it's actually fun. Um, and then we'll go over the uh, sheep brain dissection briefly. And that's something that you're going to watch videos on. So I have the videos from Pearson. I've got links to all of those. Um, they're in the uh, My AMP uh, study area section um, lab dissection videos. I forgot what they call it now. Anyway, I've got links to those are all on a separate page. So you click that and it has them all listed there and do those in order. I got, a, got them in order that I makes them that I think makes the most sense. Pearson has them in alphabetical order and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do them in that order. Those videos are pretty short. They're like two to five minutes long each. And I think there's like eight of them. So it really won't take you long to go through the sheep brain dissection. And then I also put a link to Human Brain Dissection, which is uh, University of British Columbia. The, uh, the photography is just gorgeous on that, so it's just very clear. So it's it uh, so that's that's a good video as well. So watch those the sheep brain dissection videos, the sets of those, the set of those, and the human brain dissection video. And um, let's see what else is there. Um, uh, also, I put a, a link to a website that. that goes over what the sheep brain dissection should show you. Uh, it's Lumen Learning. They have a, a, some resources there. Um, and then uh, so uh, in addition to that, take a look at the study guide, do the pre-lab and post-lab exercise of the book, and do the activities on Pearson and study the pictures in the book. And quiz 11 over the brain will be available November 9th through the 19th. And as always, if anyone wants to uh, meet with me on Zoom, I can. Let me know if you want a group session, we can do that. And otherwise, email me, text me, or call me uh, with questions. And otherwise, have a great week. Bye.